global attention. That was a preliminary before God got showed up in 1983. So now, everybody noted that in the scientific community, especially the aerospace scientific community. And in 1985, I was invited to Germany. And it's one of the most, um, as I said, most memorable, most spiritual, uh, privilege, you know, trip for me in my life. One of the most, for sure. That, that was when I met my father for the last encounter on the physical plane. Um, but I was invited, you know, right from, even when I was preparing for my lectures, I could see the glory of God almost everywhere I turned. You know, the Department of Defense were playing a role, everything. In fact, when they were sending us, you know, that was still, the Cold War still, supposedly, in fact. And uh, the Department of Defense had to, well, they had a delegation that followed us to Germany. They were watching everybody, it was very difficult to socialize, actually. But anyway, as I was going, um, I was actually, I paid for what you call um, economy class. But again, mysteriously, I ended up in the second class. You mean first class? No, no, I didn't know. It was second class. That is the business class. Okay, they up up upgraded me. I don't know why, why that happened, but again, you know, and they were serving champagne and so on and so forth and it was a party. So I saw a lot of, and I was listening to uh, a music by uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. The lead vocalist there was, had something with some English thing and that was being played and brought in a lot of memories and so on and so forth. Um, and then arrived in Germany at the University of Göttingen, not Göttingen, the second most popular school. First is Göttingen. I was in the second most popular, which is the University of Aachen, Aachen, Germany. Mm -hmm. That's where I was in a, the conference was taking place. And I was asked to deliver three lectures. Was anybody else asked to deliver that many lectures? No, absolutely not. It matched the I of the record. As a matter of fact, the guy who was interviewing me was Professor Otto, 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 O T T O. And, and, <laughs> and he said, you know, he came in and he said, well, um, Oyebo is a noted, noted American mathematician. And I jumped in and tried to get some little humor by saying, well, I'm an African, <laughs> I'm an African mathematician. <laughs> and I turned around and there was no laughing. <laughs> you know, people look like SS. <laughs> <laughs> You know, with their, with their faces, grim faces, like, and I was uh, hoping I would get a laugh, but it didn't happen. So anyway, so I let that slide. And then he went on to say, well, the same person had published more than any of us in the AIWA journal in 1983. Otto said that, and, and again, they were getting more furious than ever, you know. Then he said, well, guess what? He repeated the same thing again in this conference because he has more lectures in this pub, in this conference than any of us in this conference. At, that, at such a point, I thought they were going to lynch me now. But the hall of about 500 presenters, <laughs> you understand? And I'm the only black person in the crowd. I say, sure, I'm, I'm God for today. You understand? But it didn't happen. In the crowd where Nebraska led the delegation. Yes. Yeah. Professor Lebrescu led the delegation from Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, he was a Holocaust survivor mm. from Romania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and some people talk about their family members, their parents being Holocaust survivors. No, he himself was a survivor mm -hmm. from Romania. Mm -hmm. and then ended up in Israel. And what he said to me, if I remember correctly, was so touching. He said, you know, um, after my last lecture, they came over and lined up. I was still on the podium and they came over and lined up. And I, that's when, when I really felt I was going to be lynched. 
In fact, they, they, when they turn off the light, it looks so dim. I say, wow, <laughs> this is, this is going to be technical. <laughs> I'm going to be lynched right in this way. Nobody will even know because nobody knew, no black person that I know knew I was there except my family. And, uh, but uh, a similar thing happened later on in, in, uh, in Copper Mountains in Colorado. So they walk over to me. I didn't know what he looked like then, mm -hmm. Professor Lebrescu. He led a delegation from Israel to come and meet with me because they had invited me to come to Israel so many times and it was impossible. You know, the authorities won't allow me to go. Um, and so they decided they were going to catch up with me in Germany. But he said to me something like, well, since my experience as a Holocaust survivor, I vowed never to visit Germany or any of the Nazi-controlled areas ever again. But because of you, I not only changed my policy on that issue, I brought in a delegation mm. to come and welcome you in Germany. I think that was one of the greatest honors I ever felt, I had, you know, mm. at least from non-blacks. From non and I was, I was simply overwhelmed. 